you have not set half of the records. The record of this general, who is not a Democrat, he doesn't know the meaning of democracy. Ah, you have not tried to dismantle the National Assembly and impeach the party of the opposition or remove their governor with six out of 38 members criminal assault on democracy. You have not done that. And they are writing letters. Today, through convention, we have changed leadership of our party, not at one point, as Mr. Adiobe. They call me. We don't want the general. One member said he cannot be general anymore. He's tired of being generous. I say, until we finish with Boko Haram and looting, we need one more general at least. If he has the cemetery to save, he must not run again. In which party? Thank God he's not a member of our party. We hold our future in our hand. What is your business, busybody? <laughs> Fortunately, he has turned the card of his previous party, his own legacy. So he has known no more. Now, we have a, a, a general that they didn't ask me, they asked me not to follow. Because you say general, if you call yourself a democrat, don't follow this man. I say I'm not mad enough to listen to your lies. Thank you, Mama Dubari, for the job you are doing up today. I didn't have any oath, either of allegiance or a piece of the constitution. A sheet of paper offered to me by Attorney General. All I can do is raise my hand. We are with you. Rain, shine, you will win. God bless you. Nobody must blame you at all, uh, Mr. President. It's over democratization. Those who me, ask me not to follow and support the general, they better look at their houses. They want to build the ball. It is being deserted. It's out of frustration and migration to other various parties.